What's up guys, Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So there's a lot going on in the stock market right now. We have a potential bull trap forming as we speak. We see a lot of stocks getting hammered. Neo, ChargePoint, Virgin Galactic, Open Door, a bunch of stocks are getting slammed. So I want to make a quick video right now going over what I'm seeing here on the S&P 500. We'll also go over a lot of these stocks getting crushed and what I'm going to do with those stocks, you know, maybe add, maybe sell, you know, stay away from them. So let's just get right into it. Hit the like button, subscribe, get yourself two stocks from Webull. Those are free, link down below. And you guys could check out the Patreon for buy and sell alerts, call outs, access to me throughout the day all of that good stuff exclusive videos as well that's on patreon link down below so what we see right here is the s p the five day five minute chart and why i'm saying this is a potential bull trap is because we failed at 37.90 and if you guys saw my patreon video earlier today this morning we actually talked about what was going on, you know, the jobs report, which came out, that was pretty good. We saw the futures pop up this morning, right? We mentioned that in that video. And we saw, as that jobs report came out, we saw a bit of a V-shaped rip. S&P futures got to 3,800. And then as the market opened, boom, we saw that big drop. And going back to the S&P 500 index, you can see it right here. If I zoom in a bit, it popped in the morning, a little bit, five minutes it held, and then all of a sudden it dropped, boom, we broke under 3790, which was support yesterday, and that was a support on the 26th of February as well. So it was pretty critical in my eyes for the S&P to hold 3790. It failed to do that, and it got all the way down to about... Um, 3760 this morning. We saw a bit of a relief rally. We tested 3790 again. You guys can see we failed at 3790 and now we're going lower and lower. In fact, we're at the low point of the day right now. We're about to take the lows out as we speak. We're at 3750 and the S&P went from up 0.8% pre-market in terms of the futures. Now it's down 0.4%. So the volatility is there. I mean, Guys, the VIX, let's see what that's up. The VIX is up 0.7%, so nothing much, but it's creeping up. If the VIX rips up, you guys, eh, we could expect some more selling, and this is not setting up too great, especially for the people that bought um, that pump. You know, that ended up being a bull trap, and for this to fully, you know, continue the downtrend, we're going to have to take the lows out from yesterday at 37.20. And before we do that, I mean, I think we're going to test 37.50. That's coming up. That was another support from yesterday. So if 37.50 breaks, then we might be going for the lows. And who knows? A lot can happen in five hours. There's five more hours of trading at the time that I'm filming this video. So, yeah, 3,700, low 3,700s, that could very well happen here. And as the market is getting crushed, you know, the S&P is down 0.3% right now, but the NASDAQ is down 1.4%. So there's a lot of tech-oriented companies, more high-growth companies. Those are getting hit even further, right? And we know the Dow's been holding up. A lot of the, uh, you know, more recovery names, stable names are in the Dow. So that makes sense why that's holding up. And again, as these high-growth stocks are getting hit, we have stocks like you saw in the title of this video, NIO, N-I-O. And the funny thing is, guys, Last week, I believe, I don't even remember what day it was, but it was last week or maybe earlier this week, I mentioned how NEO stock could get to the low 30s. At the time, it was trading at about 45, maybe 48. And I was saying, listen, if this market gets worse, volatility kicks in, we see a bigger drop in the NASDAQ, listen, NEO could get 30 32 35 And somebody was ripping me in the comments because of that. And uh, yeah, look where it's at now. $34 is pretty much where I was saying it could get to if things got ugly because you have to realize people get out of these stocks when things get volatile. We see the 10-year popping up, you know, the 10-year bond yield. Guys, earlier today, it was almost 1.6 again. It was almost 1.6 again. Now it's at 1.56. And so we're seeing that people are rotating out of these names inflation's coming, a lot's going on, and uh, they're, they're just hopping out of these stocks, right? 
and we, we we're seeing the big crash compared to the overall markets because they're more high growth there they're more speculative right and with those kind of swings and, and and a lot of people they don't understand you know how much stocks can actually go down in a downswing people don't realize that a neo could go down 20 percent in a day in one day i mean earlier it was down 15 percent you know it's it's seen these big drops and people underestimate how quick the the stocks do drop and, and a big thing here that i've learned and you know it's a saying i didn't come up with this obviously but it's a saying out there and it's it's obvious right the market goes up a lot slower right than when it goes down when it goes down the crash happens very quick for the most part a lot of the time you know it goes down very quickly and then it slowly climbs back up goes down very quickly slowly climbs back up so that's kind of what we're seeing and i think that that, again, we're, we're crashing quickly here, but we're slowly going to climb back up eventually. You know, this funk in the market, it might last a year or not a year, a month, you know, it might last a month, two, three weeks. Yeah, it could very well last another month or two for sure, no doubt. But if you have a longer term horizon with these stocks, you know, a couple months, you know, six months, nine months, even three to five months, you know, if you have a longer term horizon, I think eventually these are going to bounce back up. So, you know, NEO's down 11%. <clears throat> we have Open Door. This one's down 25%. So, I mean, guys, you, you get what I mean. It goes down a lot quicker than what it goes up, right? I mean, so much more quickly. You got just look, this is crazy. This stock was 32 bucks a couple days ago. Now it's at 18. So, I mean, you guys get the point. This thing is down 53%. And this one is also one that I think could be a nice bounce back play, although it's much, much more of a falling knife than Neo. I think Open Door is uh, interesting. And you're noticing this with a lot of SPACs. And uh, a lot of these SPACs, they're getting hit. Open Door is down 23%. You know, let's just look at some other ones quickly. IPOE. And mind you guys, these SPACs, they're a bit more risky, right? And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big risk on type of trade. And IPOE is down 10%. That's another SPAC. Uh, what are some other ones? CIIC, I guarantee you, is getting killed. Oh, wow. It's only down 3%. That's actually pretty impressive. Ride, yeah, another one. Ride, Lordstown Motors down 13%. So a lot of these SPACs are getting hammered today. SRAC is another one I mentioned. Wow, down another 16%. Guys, this is crazy. If you all remember, I made a video a couple months ago about this when it was at $10. It ran to 30 I never got my opportunity to buy it. I missed on a 3X, and now's probably my chance to get back in on that, right? Right around 11 10 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty uh, a pretty good value considering that's uh, what the uh, SPAC was initially priced at, right? So, yeah, SRAC is one very much worth watching if you're interested in a space play. I mean, this could be getting at a, a pretty good value compared to a lot of other SPACs, which are still arguably a bit inflated. And, you know, ChargePoint, CHPT, is getting decimated, down 14% today. This is one for sure I want to add more to. I have a position in this one. Um, <clears throat> I want to add more to that one for sure. And let me look at my notes. Let me see what other stocks I had here. Virgin Galactic, that's one that we got some news on today. Chamath Palahapatia, guys, he dumped shares. SPC is down 15%. It was up to 62 that's the crazy thing. It was up to $62. Now it's at 25. It's down 60%. Unbelievable. And Chamath, he dumped some shares. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me make my face smaller. Um, although you, you guys probably can't even see this anyway. But you can see here Chamath Palahapatia sold off more than $210 million worth of stock as prices plunged. And I'm not sure. Okay, look, he sold 6.2 million shares at an average of 34 bucks. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what his initial position was. I mean, that would be a good thing to know. I mean, if he had, let's say, a total of, hypothetically here, let's say he had 100 million shares and he sold 6 million shares, that's not that big of a deal. But let's say he had 10 million shares total and he just sold 6 million. I mean, that is huge. And I don't think he had 100 million shares. That's a bit ridiculous. Um, 
But yeah, he might have had 10 million, 15 million shares. He sold off half his stake. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty alarming. And I am an investor in Virgin Galactic, and luckily my my average is 18 bucks, so I'm still up on my position. But a couple weeks ago, I was up like 3x, and now I'm I'm still up, but I'm not nearly up 3x. But it's okay. I'm not sweating it because it's a long term investment. It's kind of like a, a buy and just look back in five years, more of a spec play. And I'm not that mad about it. I'm really not mad at all whatsoever. Uh, it's just, it's crazy how this stuff, uh, this stuff works guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Be careful out there. Like I always say, I don't like preaching, but don't put too much of your money in stuff like this. This stuff is risky. I mean, it's a high risk trade. This is not a bond, which is a low risk trade or, you know, some dividend stock, some lower P stock that's, uh, you know, producing dividends, cash flow, strong brand. That's a bit safer. Something like J&J, you know, PG, something like that. These are a lot more risky, so you have to understand and allocate what you're willing to not lose completely, but what you're willing to, you know, risk a little bit more, uh, you know, what money you're willing to risk more of. So, yeah, just understand that. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I would love to know as always. And make sure to hit that like button. Let's try to get a bunch of likes on this video. Let's try. Let's just run the like button up. And it really, uh, you know, it really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate you guys for hitting that like button. And make sure to also check out the Patreon if you want buy and sell alerts, real time, real time call outs, access to me throughout the day via DM. And I do a bunch of videos on Patreon, putting a bunch of work in there so check that out link down below you could also get two free stocks from Weeble link down below and uh, yeah I'll catch you all in the next video thanks for watching as always keep crushing the markets guys stay safe out there peace out